Hello everyone. Today we'll quickly learn about the properties and styling of the text input widget. You can also access the link to the documentation for this widget in the description below. Let's start with dropping the text input from the widget inventory. Now quickly dive into its properties by inspecting the widget. Default value. This is the default string value that the widget will hold when the app is loaded initially. We'll not enter any data into this property. Placeholder. It specifies a hint text that describes the expected value. Let's add the following. Now, this will be added as the placeholder. Events. It allows us to add an on-change event handler which is triggered when we enter the value in the input field. Let's quickly add an event handler. Click on Add Event Handler button and add the following to the message field. If we change the input text, the event will prompt the message. Validations. Regex. We can simply add a regular expression in this field that will validate the input data. Let's add the following value. You can pause the video to exactly copy it. This expression restricts the user to only entering alphabets and no numbers or special characters. You can explore various regular expressions as per your use case. Min length. We can use this property to check the inputs with a minute length validation. We'll enter 8. Since the length of the value in the input field is less than 8, an error message will appear below the widget. We'll revert this for now. Max length. Similarly, we can use this property to validate the inputs with a max length check. We'll not use this, but it's good practice to explore all the properties to have a better understanding of the widget. Custom validations. Using the ternary operator, we can add our custom validation logic for the input text using this property. Let's pick up an example to understand this better. You can pause the video and copy the following code. If the condition is true, the validation passes. Otherwise, it returns a string that displays an error message. Tool tip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tool tip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget, we find the tool tip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore the styling of the text input widget. Click on the Styles tab to access the following options. Visibility. Toggle on or off to control the visibility of the widget. Disable. Toggle to lock the widget. If toggled on, we won't be able to select any value. You can programmatically change both options by clicking on the FX button. Border Radius Change the border radius for the widget. I am providing it with a value of 12. This is what our final input text widget looks like. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.